22 years ago today, a college student was brutally attacked and killed near Laramie, Wyoming. His name is Matthew Shepard, targeted because he was openly gay. October is LGBTQ History Month, and Team 12's Josh Sanders spoke with Matthew's mother, Judy Shepard, about her son's legacy. Man was a person, right? He wasn't really anybody's hero but ours. <laughs> 22 years later, Judy Shepard still feels the loss of her hero, her son Matthew, a University of Wyoming student, the victim of a brutal hate crime outside Laramie, Wyoming, left beaten and tied to a fence, the 1998 murder capturing the heart of the nation. It was everybody. I mean, of all the correspondence we got, easily half of it was from the straight world. His death is considered a turning point for LGBTQ Americans, including changing hate crime laws. Um, I was the same age as Matthew. And at that time, I still was not comfortable with my own self. Chris Chavez with the Mesa Encore Theater is co-directing a local virtual production of The Laramie Project, an adaptation of Matthew's story. The script is taken from 200 plus interviews of the community members of Laramie. The beautiful story in The Laramie Project should not be relegated only to the gay community because it's really about all of us. Both Chris and Judy say in many ways, Matthew's legacy is about more than just the fight for rights in the LGBTQ community. If you remove Matt's story, his sexuality, and insert a story of race or religion, it's the same story. It's about not accepting or recognizing differences, not respecting people for who they are, judging them by the color of their skin, not by the content of their character. And Matthew's mom, Judy, says she hopes part of his legacy is that everyone would exercise their right to vote. We're in downtown Phoenix. Josh Sanders, 12 News. All right, Josh, thank you.